Assalamu alaikum students, I'm Vaseem Ikram. This is the sixth lecture in a series of 45 lectures on digital logic design. Kaise hain aap aaj? Inshallah sab achche honge aur puri tarah tiyari karke aaye honge, handouts dekhe honge, textbook dekhi hogi. So ready honge aaj ka lecture sunne ke liye. Pishle lecture mein humne start kiya tha logic gate se. So aaj continue karne se pehle पिछले लेक्चर को जरा रिवाइज कर लेते हैं राइट लास्ट टाइम वी सेट लॉजिक केट्स आर द बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ एनी डिजिटल लॉजिक सर्किट व्हेन यू इंप्लीमेंट ए सर्किट यू नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट इट बाय ड्राइंग ए सर्किट डायग्राम सर्किट डायग्राम जब आप ड्रॉ करते हैं तो उसमें हर कंपोनेंट को आपने बताना होता है कि ये एंड गेट है ये और गेट है ये ट्रांजिस्टर है सो लाइक ऑल कंपोनेंट्स दीज लॉजिक गेट्स have different symbols. So different हमने symbols देखे थे इससे भी ज़्यादा important जो है हर logic gate का function करता क्या है Now we said there are different ways to represent the function of a logic gate. AND gate हमने बात की थी two input AND gate लिया था एक तरीका तो ये है you write out a table, a truth table और a function table. दो इनपुट एंड गेट का दो कॉलम्स होंगे या दो इनपुट्स होंगे टू टेबल का एक आउटपुट कॉलम होगा नाउ फॉर ए टू इनपुट एंड गेट देर आर फोर पॉसिबल इनपुट कॉम्बिनेशन एंड ऑफ कोर्स देर आर फोर पॉसिबल आउटपुट्स एक तो ये तरीका हो गया दूसरा तरीका वी सेट वॉज टू राइट ए मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन सो द एंड गेट कैन बी द फंक्शन ऑफ एन एंड गेट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट डैस एफ इक्वल्स टू ए डॉट बी वे डॉट इज द एंड ऑपरेटर वी टॉक अबाउट द टाइमिंग डायग्राम एंड गेट है उसको एक दफ़ा आपने इनपुट नहीं अप्लाई करना और एक ही दफ़ा आउटपुट नहीं आएगा इट वुड कॉन्टीन्यूसली प्रोसेस इनपुट सिग्नल्स सो एट बोथ इनपुट ए एंड बी यू वुड बी कॉन्टीन्यूसली अप्लाइंग वन एंड जीरोज आउटपुट पे क्या होगा चेंज होते रहेंगे सो फॉर दैट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लेट्स से दस सेकेंड तक आपने इनपुट्स अप्लाई किए हैं सो फॉर दैट टेन सेकेंड टाइम पीरियड यू नीड टू डिस्प्ले द आउटपुट ऑफ द एंड गेट कैसे होगा यू ड्रॉ द टाइमिंग डायग्राम नाउ इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट थ्री बेसिक गेट्स द एंड गेट द और गेट एंड द नॉट गेट एंड गेट जो है बोलियन मल्टीप्लिकेशन परफॉर्म करता है उसका एक्सप्रेशन जो अभी हमने बताया एफ इक्स टू ए डॉट बी और गेट जो है बोलियन एडिशन परफॉर्म करता है इट इज द एक्सप्रेशन इज एफ इक्स टू ए और बी और जो है वो प्लस साइन हमने बताया था यूज कर रहे हैं द नॉट गेट बेसिकली कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स द इनपुट सो अगर ए वन है अप्लाई करेंगे नॉट गेट के इनपुट पे आउटपुट जीरो हो जाएगा then we talked about the nand gate and the nor gate nand gate kya hai it is the combination of the and gate and a not gate so koi naya operation nahi hai wohi and gate operation usko hum complement kar rahe hain nor gate kya hai again it's a combination of the or gate and the not gate again koi nayi cheez nahi hai or gate ke output ko hum invert kar rahe hain ya complement kar rahe hain usme Last time we talked, we were talking about the the uh, the NOR gate, and we said it is a universal gate. Universal gate, why? Obviously, if we have a NOR gate, we can use the NOR gate to implement any gate. So we can implement an AND gate, we can implement an OR gate, we can implement an inverter, and in fact, we would be seeing that we can in fact in, uh, implement a NAND gate using a NOR gate. बात हम कर रहे थे कि हम इन्वर्टर को कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे वेरी इजी यू जस्ट जॉइन द टू इनपुट्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेट ओके सो यू अप्लाई द इनपुट ए सिंगल बेट इनपुट एट द नॉर्गेट इनपुट एंड यू वुड ऑफ कोर्स गेट द इन्वर्टेड आउटपुट और गेट हम बात कर रहे थे कि और गेट कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे यूजिंग द नॉर गेट वेल इफ यू रिमेंबर नॉर गेट इज बेसिकली ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ और गेट एंड ए नॉट गेट So if you have two NOR gates, you can uh, use one NOR gate as an inverter and connect it to the output of the other NOR, uh, NOR gate. That would give you the OR gate implementation. 
AND gate implementation, we said we require a combination of three NOR gates. And in fact, as I've just said, you can use a combination of NOR gates to implement a NAND gate, and again, a combination of NAND gates to implement a NOR gate. Let's have a look at the diagrams which show these implementations. To implement an OR gate, two NOR gates are required. NOR gate 1 is used as a NOR gate, NOR gate 2 is being used as an inverter as its two inputs are connected together. The output of NOR gate 1 is connected to the input of NOR gate 2. The result of the circuit is the OR gate. To implement the AND gate, we require a combination of three NOR gates. In the last lecture, we said that the AND gate can be represented by its alternate symbol, which is the OR gate with the three bubbles, two bubbles at the input and one bubble at the output. Now, if you just remove the two bubbles at the input, what do you see? You see a NOR gate. So, this particular NOR gate is represented by NOR gate 3. What do you do with the two bubbles at the inputs? As we said before, the two bubbles represent two inverters. So, you use NOR gate 1 and NOR gate 2 configured as two inverters, which are of course connected to the input of the NOR gate 3. So, a combination of three NOR gates 1, 2 and 3 represent the AND gate. Now, let us see how we can represent an AND gate using NOR gates. Well, earlier we represented an AND gate using three NOR gates, NOR gate 1, NOR gate 2 connected as inverters to another NOR gate 3. Now, a combination of these three NOR gates represent the AND gate. Now, what is the NAND gate? It is the inverse of the AND gate. So, you add another NOR gate at the output of NOR gate 3. So, the combination of four NOR gates as shown in the diagram represent the NAND gate. Now, a NOR gate can also be implemented using NAND gates. Now, if you remember, a combination of three NAND gates 1, 2 and 3 is used to represent an OR gate. What is an OR gate? If you invert the output of an OR gate, you get an OR gate. So, you add a NAND gate, NAND gate number 4 to the output of the NAND gate number 3. The combination of 4 NAND gates 1, 2, 3 and 4 represent the NOR gate. We have just seen the examples of an OR gate and a an NAND gate. We just saw that we can use the NOR gate to implement an inverter, an AND gate, OR gate, and in fact, an AND gate. We see that the NAND gate is used to implement an inverter, AND gate, OR gate, and an OR gate. So, NOR gate, NAND gate, they are truly universal gates. If you do not find any gate, if you just have the NOR gate or the NAND gate, you can implement any logic gate. Now, before we proceed, let us have a look at the applications of the NAND gate and the NOR gate. Let us assume that we have a warehouse, a camera hai, jahan hum kuch chemicals store kar rahe Chemicals se kuch fumes nikalte hain, poisonous fumes nikalte hain, jo humne exhaust fans ke through disperse karne atmosphere mein. So, let us suppose that there are three exhaust fans uh, installed in that room. Now, it is important that all three exhaust fans are working. Agar koi ek beech mein kharab ho gaya, to wo poisonous gases jo hain kamre mein jama ho jayengi. Now, we need to install an alarm system. So, let us suppose that when the fan is working, it a circuit, an interface circuit generates a 1. That 1 is connected to the input of a NAND gate. So, when all three fans are working, the interface circuits would be generating three 1s. 3 input NAND gate apne use kiya hua output kya aega? Well, the output would be 0. Now, the output of the NAND gate is connected to an alarm. So, if all 3 fans are working, Tino 1's generate karenge, output NAND gate ka 0 hoga, alarm nahi bajayega. Let's suppose one fan stops working. Kya hoga? Jo interface circuit hai, it would generate a 0. Jab 0 hoga, uh, now if you just remember the function uh, uh, or the truth table of an AND gate, if any input becomes a 0, the output is going to become a 1. So, now what happens? The alarm is sounded. 
Now let us consider the use of the monor gate. आपके घरों में वॉशिंग मशीन तो होगी देखी होगी चलते हुए लेट्स इम्प्रूव द वॉशिंग मशीन उसमें कुछ नए हम सेंसर्स वगैरह लगाते हैं वॉशिंग मशीन के ऊपर लिड होती है खोल के बीच में कपड़े डालते हैं नॉर्मली जब वो चल रही होती है लिड खोलें तो आप अगर हार्ड डाल लें तो इंजरी हो सकती है उसमें सो लेट्स पुट ए सेंसर अगर चलते हुए वॉशिंग मशीन आप लिड खोलें तो वो सेंसर जो है एक कोई आउटपुट दे जिससे मशीन रुक जानी चाहिए एक और सेंसर लगा देते हैं जो जो वाटर लेवल है टब में उसको देख रहे हैं अगर उस लेवल से कम है पानी तो वो मशीन को ना चलने दे एक तीसरा सेंसर लगा देते हैं विच मेजर्स द वेट ऑफ द दी क्लोथ्स इन द टब अगर टब में ज़्यादा आपने कपड़े डाल दिए तो वो मोटर पे जोर पड़ेगा चलेगी नहीं उसमें सो बेसिकली वी हैव थ्री सेंसर्स वन टू लुक एट द लेट इफ इट्स ओपन और क्लोज एंड अदर सेंसर टू मोनिटर द लेवल ऑफ द वाटर and the third sensor uh, fitted at the bottom of the tub to uh, to check the load uh, in the washing machine now all these three sensors output is zero okay when the lid is closed when the water level is at the appropriate mark and uh, the washing machine is not loaded now let's suppose the washing machine is running and you open the lid what happens the sensor generates an output of 1 ye teeno sensors ke outputs jo hain they are connected to a nor gate now how does a nor gate function jab sare input uske 1 hain the output is 0 agar unme se ek input 0 ho gaya output kya hoga it remains a 0 agar sare inputs 0 ho jaye fir uska output kya hoga 1 Now we said we have three sensors. They output all ones or all zeros. Okay. अगर कोई सेंसर डिटेक्ट कर रहा है कि लेड खुल गई है या पानी का लेवल कम हो गया या वेट ज़्यादा हो गया, तो वो सेंसर को क्या आउटपुट करना चाहिए वन या जीरो? Well, अगर वो वन करेगा, आउटपुट क्या हो जाएगा नॉर गेट का जीरो हो जाएगा. Now the output of the नॉर गेट is connected to a switch. so whenever the output of the nor gate is is zero the switch is turned off which basically turns off the machine so teeno mein se koi bhi sensor one bhejega the machine is going to be turned off now let us consider two more gates the exclusive or gate and the exclusive nor gate एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट बेसिकली इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अदर गेट्स वो हम बाद में देखेंगे कौन से अदर गेट्स जनरली वी हैव ए टू इनपुट एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट मल्टीपल इनपुट एक्स और गेट्स भी हो सकते हैं इसमें ना लेट एस लुक एट द फंक्शन ऑफ एन एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट टू टेबल कितने कॉलम्स होंगे वेल दो कॉलम्स होंगे जो रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे होंगे इनपुट एंड वन कॉलम वुड बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग द आउटपुट Now, how many input combinations are we going to have if we have a two input exclusive OR gate? Well, two inputs and four possible combinations, and we have zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Exclusive OR gate ke outputs kya honge? Well, when the input combination is a zero and a one, the output is going to be a one. And then, if we have a combination of one and zero at the input, the output again is going to be a one. जीरो जीरो इनपुट और वन वन इनपुट के लिए जो आउटपुट एक्सक्लूसिव और का है इट इज जीरो सो एक्सक्लूसिव और हमें क्या बता रहा है जब दोनों इनपुट्स डिफरेंट हैं फिर वो वन जनरेट कर रहा है अगर दोनों इनपुट्स सेम हैं देन इट जनरेट्स एन आउटपुट ऑफ जीरो तो ये तो हो गया इसका ट्रुथ टेबल या फंक्शन टेबल एक्सप्रेशन एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट का कैसे लिखेंगे अगेन इट्स अ टू इनपुट एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट सो यू हैव द इनपुट ए एंड बी सो द एक्सप्रेशन इज एफ इक्वल्स टू ए देन यू हैव सम ऑपरेटर बी ऑपरेटर क्या है प्लस साइन विद इन ए सर्कल तो ये प्लस साइन विद इन ए सर्कल मीन्स एक्सक्लूसिव और ऑपरेशन ठीक है ना 
let's have a look at the timing diagram of an exclusive OR gate. Just the humne AND gate ke saath kiya tha, baaki gates ke saath kiya tha. You can continuously apply binary zeros and ones at the two inputs of the exclusive OR gate. Uska behavior kya hoga output pe? Well, it depends on the inputs. So, wo change hota raega. So, let us have a look at the timing diagram of the exclusive OR gate. A combination of zeros and ones is applied at the two inputs of the exclusive OR gate. The two inputs are shown in the diagram. The output of the exclusive OR gate of course depends on the input. Let us have a look. At interval T0, the output is 0. Why? Because the two inputs are both 1s. At interval T1, the output is 1. Why? Because the two inputs are not the same. We said exclusive OR gate would generate a 1 when the two inputs are dissimilar. Again, T2 ko agar aap dekhe, the output is 1 because the two inputs are again not the same. T3 interval pe output 0 ho gaya because both the inputs are 1s. And similarly, you can have a look at interval T4, T5 and T6, the output is 1 because the inputs during these three intervals are not the same. We just saw the timing diagram of a two input exclusive OR gate. Exclusive OR gate ko symbolically kaise represent karenge? Symbol kya hai exclusive OR gate ka? Well, it is very similar to the symbol of a NOR gate. Uh, input pe ek extra curved line hai. So, you will get to see the symbol of an exclusive OR gate. Now, let us have a look at another gate, the exclusive NOR gate. Uh, uh, let us consider a two input exclusive NOR gate. Kitne possible combinations ho sakte hai? Again, char ho sakte hai, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Output ek hi hoga. Again, normally you have a two input exclusive NOR gate, zyada input ke bhi ho sakte hai, but generally as I have said, two input ka exclusive NOR gate use kiya jata hai. Now, for a combination of 0, 0, the output of an exclusive NOR gate is going to be a 1. For the input combination 1, 1, the output of an exclusive NOR gate is again going to be a 1. For the input combinations 0, 1 and 1, 0, the output is going to be 0. Isse kya nazar aara aapko? Agar aap isko compare karein, pishle gate ke saath the exclusive OR gate, ye bilkul uska invert hai, right? So, exclusive NOR gate ka output jo hai, it is inverse of the output of the exclusive OR gate. Isko aap represent kaise karenge expression form mein? Well, again, uh, very similar expression f equals to a, voi wala symbol uh, plus sign within a circle b and whole bar. Bar kya represent karta hai? Jo function hai, wo usko hum complement kar rahe hai Now, how would you uh, represent an x, x nor gate symbolically? Basically, uh, nor gate ka jo symbol hai with a curve an extra curve at the input. Again, you will get to see uh, the symbol. Uh, actually, I just remember, I've made a mistake. Exclusive OR gate jo tha, uska symbol hai OR gate with a curve. Exclusive NOR gate ka symbol hai NOR gate with a curve. So, just remember this. Now, we need to look at the timing diagram of an exclusive NOR gate. Again, let's consider the two input exclusive NOR gate. Uske inputs pe hum different bits, ones and zeros ki combination apply karte hai. Let us see what is the output of that exclusive NOR gate. Before we have a look at the timing diagram, exclusive NOR gate basically jo function humne abhi uh, discuss kiya, kar kya raha hai? Jab similar inputs hai, to phir wo one de raha hai. Jab dissimilar inputs hai, phir wo zero de raha hai. So, now let us have a look at the timing diagram of an exclusive NOR gate. A combination of zeros and ones is applied at the two inputs of the exclusive NOR gate A and B. Uh, the two uh, inputs are shown in the diagram. Let us consider the output of the exclusive NOR gate at interval T naught. Both the inputs are logic 1, so the output is logic 1 because the exclusive NOR gate output uh, is 1 when the inputs are similar. At interval T1, the inputs are not similar, therefore the output is 0. Again, at interval T2, the inputs are not similar, the output is again is 0. At interval T3, the inputs are similar, they are both logic 1, the output is again logic 1. 
for intervals T4, T5 and T6, the inputs are dissimilar. So, therefore, the output of the exclusive NOR gate is a 0 for the 3 intervals T4 to T6. Now, let us have a look at the applications of an exclusive OR gate and exclusive NOR gate. In the last lecture, we talked about uh, detecting errors. Kya method use kiya tha Parity bit, odd parity, even parity. Odd parity mein kya kar rahe the? We send a message and we send a, an appended bit which is known as the parity bit. At the other end, you count the number of ones, wo odd maloom kar rahe hai, even maloom kar rahe So, if you are supposed to be sending um, some data with odd parity at the receiver and you should have odd number of ones. Agar odd number of ones nahi hai, then that means there is some error in the data. Ab wo detect kaise karenge? Ab, uh, bits ek ek karke ginenge? Well, manually to possible nahi hai. So, you need to have a logic circuit. So, you apply the incoming data at the input of that logic circuit. That logic circuit should give you a 1 output or a 0 output indicating if there is an error or there is not any error. So, you can have a circuit to detect odd parity and you can have another circuit to detect even parity. Ye parity detectors jo hain, uh, kaise banenge? We basically uh, you are going to be using exclusive OR gates and exclusive NOR gates. So, you are going to be using a combination of these gates to detect the parity bits. Let us have a look at the circuit diagrams of these uh, parity checkers. Consider the 3 XOR gate logic circuit which is used to detect odd number of ones in a 4 bit binary input combination. Consider the 4 bit binary number 0000, 0, 0, 0 applied at the inputs A, B, C and D respectively of XOR gates 1 and 2. The output of XOR gate 1 and 2 is 0 and 0. The output of XOR gate 3 is also 0. Now, consider the binary number 0, 0, 1, 1 applied at the inputs A, B, C and D respectively. The output of X, XOR gate 1 with inputs 0, 0 is 0. The output of XOR gate 2 with inputs 1, 1 is 0. Both the inputs are similar. Therefore, the output is 0. The output of gate 3 is 0. Thus, the output indicates that the binary number 0, 0, 1, 1 does not have odd number of 1s. Consider the binary number 1, 0, 1, 1 applied at the inputs A, B, C and D respectively. The output of XOR gate 1 with inputs 1, 0 is 1 because both the inputs are dissimilar. The output of XOR gate 2 with inputs 1, 1 is 0 because both the inputs are similar. The output of gate 3 is 1. Thus, the output indicates that the binary number 1, 0, 1, 1 has odd number of ones. Similar 4 bit combinations can be applied at the inputs of gate 1 and 2 and the gate 3 would generate ones and 0 depending on the number of ones in the 4 bit combinations. Consider the 2 XOR and a single XNOR gate based logic circuit used to detect even number of ones in a 4 bit binary input combination. Consider the 4 bit binary number 0000, 0, 0, 0 applied at the inputs A, B, C and D respectively of XOR gates 1 and 2. The output of XNOR gate 3 is a 1. Consider the binary number 0011 0, 1, 1 applied at the inputs A, B, C and D respectively. The output of XOR gate 1 with inputs 00, 0 is a 0. The output of XOR gate 2 with inputs 1, 1 is again a 0. The output of XNOR gate 3 is a 1. Thus, the output indicates that the binary number 0, 0, 1, 1 has even number of 1s. Consider the binary number 1011 applied at the inputs A, B, C and D respectively. The output of XOR gate 1 with inputs 1, 0 is 1. The output of XOR gate 2 with inputs 1, 1 is 0. The output of XNOR gate 3 is 0 because of dissimilar inputs. Thus, 
the output indicates that the binary number 1011 does not have even number of ones. Similar 4 bit combinations can be applied to the circuit. The output 3 would be a 1 or 0 indicating if there are even number of ones or there are not even number of ones. We have just looked at uh, applications of the exclusive OR gate and the exclusive NOR gate. Up till now we have been discussing different gates. We started with AND gate, OR gate discuss kiya, NOT gate discuss kiya. We said ye teen jo hai basic gates hai, basic operations kar rahe hai. Uh, AND gate jo tha boolean multiplication kar rahe hai, OR gate jo hai boolean addition kar rahe hai. NAND gate, NOR gate basically any gates ki combination hai. So, NAND gate combination hai AND gate or NOT gate ki or uh, NOR gate jo hai it is a combination of OR gate and NOT gate. Exclusive OR gate, exclusive NOR gate is again a combination of AND, OR and NOT gates. So, ye sare gates hai. In sare gates ko agar aap samajh lehen, ye function kaise karte hai, to aap samjhe aadhi digital logic aap ne padh liya isme. Bada se bada circuit, bada se bada computer jo hai, basically it is going to be made up of these uh, gates combined in different manners. Combination logic hum baad mein uh, padhenge ki kaise aap inko combine karenge. Now, हम बात कर रहे थे कि हर गेट को सिंबॉलिकली सर्किट में कैसे प्रेजेंट करेंगे वो तो बात होगी सिंबल डिस्कस कर लिए इसमें नाउ हाउ वुड यू फिजिकली आइडेंटिफाई ए गेट कि ये एंड गेट है ये और गेट है ये नॉट गेट है लेट्स सपोज यू गो टू एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक शॉप एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट ए सर्किट सो हाउ वुड यू आस्क फॉर एन एंड गेट कैसे उसको आइडेंटिफाई किया जाता है दूसरा क्वेश्चन मेरे ख्याल आपके जहनों में आ रहा होगा कि ये जो एंड गेट इट है ये काम कैसे करता है ठीक है फंक्शन तो उसकी बात कर ली हमने कि इनपुट पे आप अप्लाई करेंगे आउटपुट पे कुछ आ जाएगा उसमें पर एक्चुअली फंक्शन क्या क्यों आता है लेट्स से अगर दोनों जीरोस हैं तो वो आउटपुट पे जीरो क्यों आता है अगर दोनों वंस हैं एंड गेट के तो आउटपुट पे वन क्यों आता है कैसे काम कर रहा है सो बेसिकली ऑल दीज एंड गेट्स इंटरनली आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड यूजिंग ट्रांजिस्टर्स ट्रांजिस्टर्स आपने पढ़ा होगा इट्स लाइक ए स्विच ट्रांजिस्टर का एक कलेक्टर होता है एक एमेटर होता है एक बेस होता है सो बेस पे अगर आप कोई वोल्टेज अप्लाई करें सो द ट्रांजिस्टर इज स्विच ऑन अगर वो बेस से वोल्टेज रिमूव कर दें तो ट्रांजिस्टर जो है स्विच ऑफ हो जाता है उसमें सो बेसिकली ऑल दीज गेट्स व्हिच वी हैव स्टडीड यूज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज ट्रांजिस्टर्स टू स्विच फ्रॉम लॉजिक वन टू लॉजिक जीरो different technologies use ki jati hain to implement these transistors so cmos technology hai ttl technology hai wo hum baad mein baat karenge ki inka fayda kya hai and how they are different dusri jo humne baat ki thi ki inko identify kaise karenge now uh, using these transistors you are going to be implementing uh, these gates so these gates are uh, available in the form of integrated circuits ya aam taur pe hum unko kehte hain chips integrated chips हर चिप के खास शक्ल होती है कुछ नंबर ऑफ पेंस होती हैं कुछ पेंस जो आप ग्राउंड को कनेक्ट करते हैं कुछ पावर सप्लाई को कनेक्ट करते हैं और कुछ पेंस जो हैं आप गेट की उनको यूज कर रहे हैं आप अपने लॉजिक सर्किट में सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक एट दीज आईसीज एंड हाउ यू आइडेंटिफाई दीज आईसीज बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द ट्रांजिस्टर हाउ इट इज बीइंग यूज टू इंप्लीमेंट एन इन्वर्टर हम टीटीएल को भी देखेंगे और सीमॉस को भी देखेंगे उसमें द टीटीएल एंड सीमॉस इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द नॉट गेट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन द सिंपलीफाइड टीटीएल इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द नॉट गेट ए ट्रांजिस्टर स्विचेस बिटवीन लॉजिक 1 स्टेट एंड लॉजिक 0 स्टेट व्हेन ए वोल्टेज प्लस वी व्हिच कुड बी प्लस 5 वोल्ट्स representing logic 1 is applied at the base of the transistor the transistor is switched on connecting the voltage supply vcc and the resistor to the ground a current flows from the supply vcc to the ground due to which there is a voltage drop equal to the supply voltage vcc across the resistor as a result the output v output is at ground potential or zero volts which is logic zero Thus, the output of the transistor circuit is complement of the input. If the input base of the transistor is connected to zero volts, logic zero, the transistor is switched off and there is no flow of current from the supply voltage VCC to the ground through the resistor. Thus, 
the output of the circuit is at a potential equal to the supply voltage VCC or logic 1. The CMOS implementation uses two complementary P-type and N-type MOSFETs or metal oxide field effect transistors. When a logic 1 is applied at the V input of the NOT circuit, the P-type MOSFET switches off disconnecting the supply voltage VDD from the output of the NOT circuit. The N-type MOSFET switches on connecting the ground to the output of the NOT circuit. Thus, the output of the NOT circuit is at logic 0. Similarly, when a logic 0 is applied at the input, V input of the NOT circuit, the P-type MOSFET switches on connecting the supply voltage VDD to the output of the NOT circuit. The N-type MOSFET switches off disconnecting the ground from the output of the NOT circuit. Thus, the output of the NOT circuit is at logic 1. To identify and use the integrated circuits or ICs in implementing logic circuits, some sort of identification code has to be used in, uh, which is printed on the IC package. Thus, the various logic gates are identified by the codes shown. The prefix 74 is used to identify a commercial version of the device from the military version uh, of the device identified by the prefix 54. Military versions are designed to withstand harsh and severe environment, uh, environmental conditions. The XX part of the code identifies the switching speed of the gate which we are going to be discussing uh, later. So, a quad 2 input NAND gate which is uh, 4 2 input NAND gates in a package is identified by the code 74XX00. So, XX as we said identifies the switching speed. So, the important numbers are 7400. Quad 2 input NOR gate that means the package has 4 2 input NOR gates is identified by the number 74XX02. Similarly, the hex inverter, inverter has a single input, single output. So, an IC has 6 of these inverters. It is identified by the code 74XX04. A quad 2 input AND gate is identified by the code 74XX08. Similarly, you could have a package containing 3 input NAND gates. So, you have 3 of these in the package. The number, the identification number is 74XX10. Again, a triple 3 input AND gate that means there are 3 AND gates each having 3 inputs is identified by the number 74XX11. A dual that is 2 4 input NAND gates in a package are identified by the number 74XX20. Some additional gates, a dual 2 input AND gate is identified by the number 74XX21. A triple 3 input NOR gate is identified by the number 74XX27. A single 8 input NAND gate in a single package is identified by the number 74XX30. A quad 2 input OR gate is identified by 74XX32. A quad 2 input XOR gate, exclusive OR gate is identified by the number 74XX86. And a single 13 input NAND gate is identified by 74XX133. There are many other packages having different combination of gates. Of course, they all have different and unique numbers. The 7408 14 pin chip has 4 or quad 2 input AND gates. The input pins and the output pins of each of the 4 gates are shown. To use any one or all 4 gates, the appropriate pins are connected. Pins 7 and 14 are connected to ground and supply voltage respectively. The 7432 14 pin IC package has 4 or quad 2 input OR gates. Connection to the OR gates are identical to those of the 7408 AND gate IC. The 7404 14 pin chip has 6 or hex inverters. 
The input and output connections of each of the six NOT gates are shown. Pins 7 and 14 are used for ground and supply voltage respectively. The 7400 is a quad to input NAND gate IC. The input output pins are shown. Pins 7 and 14 are connected to the ground and power supply. Similarly, the 7402 quad to input NOR gate IC is shown. The 7486 quad to input XOR gate IC and the 74266 quad to input exclusive NOR gate IC are shown. We have just looked at the identification codes of different gates. So, if you go to a market, if you go electronic shop, if you buy an AND gate, uh, so you just ask to buy its number. You don't need to remember these numbers. When uh, you use them, you will remember yourself. Uh, electronic data sheets hoti hain jin mein numbers diye hote hain gates ki uh, characteristics diye hote hain so uh, it's very easy to identify a gate humne baat ki ke har gate jo hai implement hota hai by using transistors transistors are used as switches transistor ki different characteristics hoti hain uska implementation ka tarika bhi different hota hai different technologies are being used let me pose you a question. I will tell you that an adder is a calculator which can add, kar sake, subtract, kar sake, multiply, kar sake, and divide. How do we do it? By using these logic gates. We combine them in a circuit which will add, subtract, multiply, divide. Let's suppose you know that this is the way we By the way, we will study it later. Now, my requirement is that your calculator should add very large numbers in the shortest possible time. ठीक है? बड़े-बड़े numbers हैं, बहुत जल्दी add करके आपको answer दे दे उसमें. किस किसी में circuit होना चाहिए उसमें? क्या खासियत होनी चाहिए? क्या, let's say, कि AND gate उसमें use हो रहा है, वो अगर जल्दी काम करेगा, जल्दी switch करेगा, तेजी से काम करेगा, आपका result जल्दी आएगा. AND gate कैसे तेजी से काम करेगा? Basically, we have said that an AND gate is implemented using transistors. So, basically, if a transistor is switch kar rahe, tezi se switch kar rahe, therefore, that, uh, therefore, you would get an output as soon as you apply the input, which may be delay. Nahi hoga, right? So, to implement a fast logic circuit, you need to have fast transistors. Dusra question I pose kar मुझे एक कैलकुलेटर चाहिए जो बैटरी के साथ ऑपरेट करे और बहुत छोटा सा मेरी जेब में आ जाए अगेन क्या रिक्वायरमेंट्स होंगी हर जो गेट है ट्रांजिस्टर से ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट अगर ट्रांजिस्टर बहुत बड़ा बहुत बड़ी जगह ले रहा है इंप्लीमेंट करने के लिए दैट मींस इट वुड रिक्वायर मोर पावर एंड इट वुड ऑक्युपाई मोर स्पेस वो जेब में नहीं आ सकेगा आपको एक अच्छी खासी पावर सप्लाई लगानी पड़ेगी सो इफ यू हैव a transistor which occupies a small area and requires minimum power. Therefore, you can use this transistor to implement a circuit which will battery and will come from your gym. Mein sakta isme. Ek question. Last time we talked about an AND gate which is used to enable or disable a counter. Okay, counter tha jisko a clock pulse was going on. You can enable it through AND gate or disable it. What will happen? counter chalega ya nahi chalega now let us suppose that we have three signals theek hai teen signals hain different frequencies hain wo hame nahi maloom unki frequencies kya hain wo hum measure karna cha rahe hain usme well ek signal jo hai hum counter ko connect kar denge aur counter chalna shuru ho jayega hum ek second ke liye wo counter ko chalne dete hain after 1 second we measure or we uh, display the count number. Take it. Let's say counter pe wo signal lagaya, wo count karna shuru ho gaya, thus the count kar liya ek second mein. Take frequency kya hogi? Frequency, the number of clock pulses per second gives you the frequency. Dusa signal lagaya, counter ke saath chalaya ek second ke liye, counter ne count kya, wo count value aapko frequency bata degi. Isi tarah tisa signal lagayenge, counter ke saath usko ek second ke liye chalayenge. वो आपको एक फ्रीक्वेंसी बता देगा 
Now, let us suppose the three frequencies are 1000 hertz or 1000 clocks per second, 2000 hertz or 2000 clocks per second and 10000 hertz or 10000 clocks per second. The question is would you counter hai? is it able to count the 1000 hertz, hertz uh, signal, the 2000 hertz signal and the 10000 hertz or clocks per second signal. Her circuit ki, uh, her circuit ki ek limitation hoti hai. It cannot use signals which are changing rapidly or, or signals having very high frequencies. Ye limitation kaun impose kar raha? Transistor basically transistor ne switch karna hai. Agar transistor capable hi nahi hai ki itni rapidly switch kare 1 se 0 tak kaam nahi karega circuit. So, the performance of all digital circuits would depend on the transistors which we use within the gates. Let us look at the different technologies which are used to implement these gates. CMOS, the complementary metal oxide uh, technology is the most prevalent technology to implement these gates. This technology is characterized by low power requirement jo circuits aap banayenge using this cmos technology unko bahut kam power chahiye usme switching speed jo cmos circuits ki hai it's slower as compared to ttl circuits ttl ek aur technology jo abhi hum baat karenge usme jo circuit density hai wo zyada hai that means more circuits can be implemented in a specified area if you use this CMOS technology. The other prevalent technology which is used is the TTL or the transistor transistor logic. Transistor transistor logic basically requires more power. That means, Joby circuits gates ab, uh, implement karenge using TTL, unko zyada power requirement hai, zyada power chahiye isme. Switching speed is ki zyada hai, fast hai as compared to CMOS. Now, most of these gates which we have studied are implemented using CMOS or TTL. Jo inverter humne shuru mein baat ki thi, wo dono examples ek TTL ki aur CMOS ki humne di thi. Then you have another technology, the ECL, emitter coupled logic. Ye jo technology use kar rahe hai, jahan aapko fast switching ki requirement hai. That means, aapka koi arithmetic unit hai, jo arithmetic operations perform kar raha hai, aapko bahut jaldi results chahi hai. You need to have a very fast circuit. So, kaise implement karenge? ECL technology ke saath. Memories, uh, you need to have fast memories, kyunki memories mein kya hota hai? Bahut sara data aap store kar raha hai. Agar aapko immediate access ya jaldi access chahi hai us data ka, then you need to implement it using a fast technology. So, ECL is used to implement these fast memories. Aapne data transmit karna at a very fast uh, rate. So, again ECL circuits would be used for data transmission. Then you have the PMOS and NMOS technologies, P channel and yeah, N channel MOS transistor. In technologies say a both bada circuit ek kam space mein implement kar sakte hain. So, ye kaha use hoga? Jo microprocessors hain, jo ek Aapka microprocessor chip computer mein use hota hai. It has very complex circuitry. Or bahut sari circuitry ek specified area, ek bahut small area mein uh, implement karne, uh, karne padti hai. So, microprocessors, large memories are implemented using PMOS and NMOS technology. Iski power requirement bhi kam hoti hai in circuits ki. The, uh, the other, in fact, the last technology is the E square CMOS technology. E square CMOS technology is a combination of CMOS and NMOS technologies. Ye use kar rahe aap programmable logic devices. PLDs ki humne pehle lecture mein baat ki thi, you can uh, program a chip to perform any function. To ye chips kaise implement honge using this E square CMOS technology. Now, each of these technologies which we have discussed allow you to implement gates which are either very fast and require uh, minimal power or are slow and require more power. 
यहाँ आपने बहुत बड़ा कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्किट एक छोटे से एरिए में इम्प्लीमेंट करना है सो सम ऑफ दिस टेक्नोलॉजीज अलाउ यू टू डू दैट अदर टेक्नोलॉजीज डू नॉट अलाउ यू टू इम्प्लीमेंट लार्ज सर्किटरी ऑन ए स्मॉल एरिया ना वी नीड टू इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दी परफॉर्मेंस आउट ऑफ ए गेट वी नीड टू एग्जैक्टली नो अबाउट इट्स ऑपरेशनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि एक गाड़ी छोटी सी गाड़ी छोटा सा इंजन है ना इट कैन टेक यू फ्राम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी ना लेट मी लेट मी इम्पोज ए रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन दिस लेट मी से दैट आई नीड टू ट्रैवल फ्राम पॉइंट ए टू बी विच इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स इन टू आवर्स अब ये छोटी सी गाड़ी वुड इट बी एबल टू ट्रैवल एट वन फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स पर आवर टू रीच पॉइंट बी इन टू आवर्स वेल नहीं क्योंकि ये छोटी सी गाड़ी वो केपेबल ही नहीं है छोटा सा इंजन है ख़राब हो जाएगी रास्ते में सो वट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू हैव ए लार्जर वेकर विद ए मोर पावरफुल इंजन विद एन अप्रोप्रिएट स्ट्रक्चर विच कैन ट्रेवल एट दीज हाई स्पीड्स डिजिटल लॉजिक में भी डिफरेंट गेट्स are capable of performing at different levels koi fast operate karega kuch slow operate karega kisi ki power requirement zyada hai kisi ki kam hai right so you need to characterize these gates so what are those important operating characteristics number 1 the power dissipation koi bhi digital logic circuit jo hai उसको अपने पावर सप्लाई के साथ कनेक्ट करना है जब वो काम करेगा इट वुड कंज्यूम पावर सो क्या वो ज़्यादा पावर कंज्यूम करता है या कम करता है ना इफ इट कंज्यूम्स मोर पावर देन यू कैन नॉट हैव ए पोर्टेबल सर्किट आपको हमेशा उसको कनेक्ट करना पड़ेगा एक पावर सप्लाई के साथ आप बैटरी के साथ ऑपरेट नहीं कर सकेंगे द सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर इज द नॉइज इम्यूनिटी और दी नॉइज रेंज नॉइज रेंज को आप इस तरह डिफाइन करेंगे कि हर सिग्नल जो है वन एंड जीरो जो है बाइनरी वन एंड जीरो उसको हम रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ वोल्टेज सो लेट्स से लॉजिक वन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वोल्टेज वन लॉजिक जीरो इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वोल्टेज जीरो अब जीरो वोल्ट को क्या हम पॉइंट एट वोल्ट के साथ रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं कि नहीं या लॉजिक वन को हम फोर पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट से रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं कि नहीं वेल प्रैक्टिकली वेन यू कोनेक्ट डिफरेंट गेट्स टुगेदर तो वो एग्जैक्ट फाइव वोल्ट्स या जीरो वोल्ट्स पे लॉजिक वन जीरो को रिप्रजेंट करना बड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है देर इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप सो अब लॉजिक वन जो है वो किन किन वोल्टेज रेंजेस को रिप्रजेंट कर रहा है सो लेट्स से फोर वोल्ट से फाइव वोल्ट तक लॉजिक वन होगा जीरो वोल्ट से पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट लेट्स जीओम वोल्ट रिप्रजेंट लॉजिक जीरो अब अगर 0.6 सिक्स वोल्ट्स आ जाता है तो वो लॉजिक ज़ीरो होगा कि नहीं होगा राइट सो वेन यू हैव ए लॉजिक सर्किट जहाँ ये डिफरेंट वोल्टेज रेंजेस आ रहे हैं उसमें कोई एक्सटर्नल नॉइज़ की वजह से वोल्टेज चेंज हो रही हैं सो वुड दैट सर्किट फंक्शन और वुड इट स्टॉप फंक्शनिंग तो वो जो नॉइज मार्जिन है वो हमें डिफाइन करना पड़ेगा अगर एक सर्किट जो है वो डिफरेंट वोल्टेज लेवल्स पर काम कर सकता है दैट मीन्स वो प्रॉपरली फंक्शन करेगा एक सर्किट जो है वो सिर्फ पाँच वोल्ट पे या जीरो वोल्ट पे काम करता है तो वो प्रॉपरली फंक्शन नहीं कर सकेगा उसमें द थर्ड इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर इज द प्रोपिगेशन डिले प्रोपिगेशन डिले क्या है लुक यू हैव एन एंड गेट आप दोनों इनपुट्स पे जीरो एंड वन अप्लाई करते हैं वट इज द आउटपुट जीरो वो जो आउटपुट जीरो है वो एकदम से नहीं आएगी There is going to be some delay, and after that delay, you will see the output. That delay is known as the propagation delay. Proper propagation delay, जो है वो कैसे circuit की performance को affect करेगा? एक example लेते हैं. Let's suppose AND gate है. उसके input पे जब आप signals apply करते हैं, तो उसके एक second के बाद output पे कोई एक signal आएगा. अगर आप input पे हर हाफ सेकेंड के बाद चेंज करना शुरू कर दें आउटपुट पे क्या आएगा आउटपुट पे आपके पास प्रॉपर रिजल्ट नहीं आएगा 
because the propagation delay of the AND gate is 1 second. That means when you apply some input, after 1 second you would get the output. Now, if you change the input before that 1 second time period, that is in half a second, the output would not be proper. So, that means a logic circuit cannot operate at very high frequencies. Another important parameter is the power dissipation at different frequencies. TTL circuits show him unki power dissipation that means power dissipation means power requirement of the gate that remains constant. CMOS circuits may power requirement jo hai wo depend karti hai frequency pe. Joon joon aap input signals ki frequency badha rahe hai usme power requirement zyada hoti jati hai usme. So now you have to be careful. The last important parameter is the fan out. Fan out kya hota hai? Again ek example lete hai. Aapke ghar mein ek vabda ki supply se connection aara hai. आपके हमसाये के घर में भी अगेन एक दूसरा कनेक्शन आ रहा है तीसरे हमसाये के तीसरा कनेक्शन आ रहा है चौथा पांचवा इस तरह डिफरेंट कनेक्शंस आ रहे हैं इसमें आपके घर में एक बिजली का हीटर लगा हुआ है आप उसको चलाते हैं करंट आ रहा है आपके हमसाये में भी एक और हीटर लगा हुआ है वो भी उसी वक्त उसको ऑन कर देते हैं مزید करंट ले रहा है लेट्स से देयर आर 10 हीटर्स इन 10 हाउसेस and they are all turned on at the same time. So that means you would be drawing current from the Vabda main supply. Kya hota hai jab baut sari heaters ya ACs on ho jate hain, voltage down ho jate hai, thik hai, aur aapke equipment jo hai kaam karna band kar dhate hain. Similar is the case with logic gates. You cannot connect a large number of gates to the output of another gate. Ek aapke paas AND gate hai, uske output ke saath aap thus AND gate connect karna cha rahe hain, possible hoga ke nahi, well it depends you need to do some calculations. Well basically the 10 gates would be drawing current from that single gate. So wo jo single gate hai, is it capable of uh, sourcing current to the 10 gates? If it is, then of course you can connect the 10 gates. If it is not capable of providing that much power to the 10 gates, then of course you cannot connect the 10 gates. Well, for each gate, there is a limit, which is data sheets mein specify hui hoti hai uh, We are going to be looking at all these parameters in detail in the next lecture. Before I finish, I need to talk about the power requirement, power supply. CMOS ke do type ki series hain. Ek series jo hai, usko 5 volt require hai. Ek dusri series hai, usko 3.3 volt require hai. That means kam power pe bhi wo kaam karti hai. So that means uh, such circuits can be used in portable devices jaha battery se usne chalna hota hai usme. So we stop for today. Yeh aakhri wala portion thoda sa muskil tha. Don't worry, ab zara notes padhiye ga, zara textbook mein zara dekhiye ga. Next time, dobara se uh, isko review karenge and hopefully aapko uh, samaj aa jayegi usme. Inshallah, agle lecture mein dobara milte hain usme. As I've said, notes zara dobara revise kijiye ga, ghabraye ga nahi. Inshallah, dobara milte hain. Khuda hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.